officials of the Edo State Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Welfare, a non-governmental organization, Child Protection Network, and plainclothes police officers stormed this compound in Amagba, GRA, Benin City, the state capital. They're acting on a tip-off provided by residents of the area concerning a case of alleged child abuse said to have been taking place here for several months. True to the information, a two-year-old boy is seen locked up in the apartment. His stepmother is said to have gone out earlier in the day for business with her biological children. Members of the community arrived the scene and helped in rescuing the child from the harrowing conditions he was left in. With the child rescued, the officials say the next step is to bring the culprits before the law. We got an anonymous call to report this case to us, that a child of two years has all uh, be kept in an occupied building without uh, being cared for from morning to night. And this is something they said it has been happening for over months, more than four months now. They said that is what has been happening to this child. They don't even give him any food. They leave him there from morning to night. You can see that nobody's at home. It just proved the case that the, what the information we got was right. They were prosecuted. You know, no. Both the woman and the father of the child will be prosecuted. And uh, the child will be uh, taken adequate care of, both medically and otherwise. So, I mean, they are not, they are not fit to be parents. The chairman of the community, Peter Emiose, describes the alleged crime as shocking. These atrocities, we will not want it to continue. Thank God the baby has been rescued. We will also do our own part to bring these people to justice by finding the people, the man and the woman, living in that house, who we'll then take them to the police. We have their numbers and the woman from the organization. We have their numbers. We can always call on them. For now, the rescued child has been taken into government custody while efforts are on to apprehend his alleged abusers.